Hi, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a candidate spotlight for Hers Herschel Walker in the Georgia Senate race. Um, so getting started, I think that his biggest struggle will probably be turning out white rural voters. I think it's probably going to be a problem for him. Um, not even necessarily that he's terribly weak, but just that he's not as strong as Trump for white rural voters, and Trump still lost Georgia. Um, but I think he would do decent. I mean, like, he's... I'm, I've lived most of my life in Georgia, and the man is, like, beloved in Georgia. Obviously, politics and football are not the same thing, obviously, but he's still, like, it's, it would definitely, his, his, like, general, like, the name recognition and the general, like, just love for him in Georgia could help him, but I still don't see him doing as well as white rural voters as Trump did, despite all that. Um, I think that with the black vote, I think in an area, like a city like Atlanta, he would really struggle. Um, and probably not do as bad as Trump, but still do pretty poorly. I think with rural black voters, I think that generally speaking, I would say he's a, he, he's a stronger Republican for rural black voters. However, he's running against Raphael Warnock, who is maybe the best realistic Democratic nominee, just in like or best realistic, um, like big name Democrat nationally for rural Black voters. He is, yeah, I would I would stand by that. He's probably he's one of the best Democrats for rural Black voters. That's like a big name, like person obviously there's probably some like congress person or like state senator and like some random state that might be better but i don't know every state senator and their ideology and what demographics they appeal to or just every state senator in general i have enough i know i think i know my state senator i hope i do um anyways i think that Walker, if he wasn't running against Warnock, like, if, if he was running against John Ossoff, I think that there is definitely an argument to be made that he would win, but I think that against Warnock, I don't think that he does well enough, um, or I think that Warnock does too well with white rural voters, or with rural black voters to the point where Walker's strength would actually really impact the election much, um, I think that in the diversifying suburbs, he's still a pretty weak candidate. Um, either way, I think that with white suburbanites, he would be, like, a decent candidate. I mean, like, not not even decent. I think that he would be better than Trump, but that's a very low bar. So I think he is probably better for white rural suburban, or white, white rural, white suburbanites than Trump. But that's a low bar, and it's not saying much, but it would probably be an improvement from Trump. And he's probably better for better for white suburbanites than Leffler, probably weaker there than Purdue, um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like below, stay tuned for my next video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, please comment your suggestions down below, by the way, for this series, I don't think I'm going to be doing this with incumbents, um, I might do, I'm probably going to do it with candidates who are not incumbents, obviously, but I don't think I'm going to do one for, like, Ron Johnson, or... Raphael Warnock or like Catherine Cortez Masto. Um, I feel like they'd probably be interesting. Let me know if you want me to do them. Like, if you want me to do one, because I would probably do Warnock or Mark Kelly first, I would think. Maybe, maybe CCM. Um, or Marco Rubio. Actually, probably Marco Rubio first, but let me know if you want me to do that. Um, for now, I'm probably going to stick to non incumbents, but if I do like enough to the point where it becomes like a lot, I might switch. Um, so yeah, anyways, I hope to see you all in my next video, um, and yeah, I hope to see you all in my next video, guys, bye!